this is important because these boards, in my opinion, are getting wired up wrong. The deal is, some of these boards have pins along, or sorry, six pin ports along two sides. So some people are saying, oh, you can put power in one side and draw it out the other for your GPU. Okay, yes, you can, but if you have eight GPUs in a board, you're passing all that power through your motherboard. And so instead of a wire that's, you know, a couple of millimeters across, you're trying to run, I don't know, let's say 800 watts through a motherboard. Now, I don't know any motherboards out there that I've seen that have like a CPU or a ton of slots where the motherboard would be absorbing 800 watts of power or that 800 watts of power is going into it and something on that board is, is using it. So, I have a WT degree, I have a BSWT, so I'm, I'm kind of familiar with how these things work. So in a motherboard, you have these thin layers of foil, copper foil, Google it. So instead of a wire, you know, I think it's 16 or 18, I don't know the gauge, but there's different thicknesses of the wire. Can you imagine a motherboard that, that is that thin and the whole thickness of that, wa that motherboard is the same thickness as your wire? Do you think that is true? No, that's not true. You're try you would be trying to pass 800 watts through a layer of foil instead of a wire. So that's, in my opinion, a bad idea. idea. And it's really unnecessary to do it that way. Uh, just do it, you know, pass power into the slots. Personally, like right now my board only has four GPUs in it. So I'm running four six pin, you know, power plugs into it. Now, these slots, and I'm pretty sure this is the case for the other in this BTC 37 series. There's the... I think just the 37, there's the D and the T or whatever, the S. I bought the S because that has like the most space between uh, slots. Like, I, you know, you still only have maybe like this much, uh, you know, between like the front of one card and the back of another to pass airflow through it. So I, I think that's what I, I want. I don't want anything close than that. I want to be able to, you know, point a fan at it and blow through. So where was I going with this? Anyway, <laughs> all these appear to be kind of wired the same and that wiring is set up thusly. I can plug in one PCIe six pin power connector to one plug. I went through and measured this myself. All those plugs become hot so that tells me they're all connected. So someone who tells you that they're separate like they're a riser, they're not. All of those are tied together, which is fine, which means you can distribute the power evenly. Like I've got four GPUs and I've got four six pin power plugs going to it. That's fine, fine. And to power the GPU, I'm going from the power supply right into the GPU as if it were a riser. However, like I said, these slots are not configured individually like risers. I'd have to think about whether I agree with that or disagree with that, but trust me, wire it up that way. Don't run a thousand watts, like even, you know, some reasonable GPU, like a 1067, you know, whatever, whatever. The, the RAM, the CPU, and the board use like 20 watts, and then let's say 100 per GPU. Maybe you don't have the most power efficient GPUs or mix or whatever. If you really want to run like 800 and something watts, through foil traces I don't and I don't think you should either so anyway on with the video I'll, I'll put time codes in there so you can skip this but please I hope you watched it because uh, yeah, it, it is important don't blow up your stuff or, or burn your house down or anyway <laughs>